Talavera inspired wall art. We're gonna do it in a hummingbird, which you see on the side here. There's the flower. We're also gonna do it in a butterfly for three easy payments of $9.89 really beautiful colorful wall art that just brightens up any area you can use these indoors or out and nancy what is talavera so talavera is a kind of pottery that's made in a part of mexico mm -hmm. it's um made out of pottery typically it's usually more muted colors but it's always going to be this kind of fun patterns like you're seeing here mm -hmm. so plow and hearth was inspired by that they wanted to make them out of metal so it's something that you can feel comfortable. You can put it out on the so side of your home. it's going to be more home. lightweight and more durable. More lightweight and more durable, exactly. And they created it with more brightly uh, colors, more brightly toned colors. That's so cute. Okay, let's take a really close look. This is the butterfly. It's so lovely. The butterfly is going to be uh, 23 and a half inches long by about 14 inches high. The colors are so pretty, and I love the little eyes. Yes, this is really, really a beautiful example of what Plow and Hearth does oh, for their metal work. It is. They don't just paint those colors on there. As Sandra just said, each place that you see a differentiation in the color, there's embossing. So that's textured. So that really adds interest to your piece. And you're going to see all the different colors, the bright pink and the green. And you've got that yellow and a really pretty yeah. soft blue, but then also a deeper blue. And I'm going to turn it sideways because I want you to see that this is each piece is rather narrow. So it's not something that's going to take up a lot of space sticking out from your wall. And this is how you're going to hang it up. You've got a keyhole on the back. And so if you're putting it on siding, like we have here um, on your home, I would recommend there's some siding hooks. Otherwise, if you're putting it on a fence or a gate or maybe um, even in a wall in your own home, just use a nail because Perfect. they're lightweight enough that that should be fine. So that's the butterfly. If the camera can zoom in, take a look at the flower. Oh, the flower pretty. actually has like a gem in the center. Yeah, it does. That one um, just kind of looks like a big daisy to me almost. Almost Very like pretty. a daisy I would see in Alice in Wonderland, I think. Yeah. Um, and it does have that gem on the center. And um, I think it looks really nice if you pair the flower with the hummingbird that we're going to show in just a minute. Oh, that's because a good that idea. Would be really cool. It could almost look like the, fla the hummingbird's flying to the flower, yes. depending on how you position it. That flower is going to be 17 and 3 quarter inches long by about 18 and a sixth about 18th and I guess, yeah, about, well, actually, this, they're very exact, whoever wrote this, 18 and 1 16th. Okay, I'm just there you going go. to call it 18. Right, 18 exactly. inches high. <laughs> exactly. So then our other choice is right here above me um, on the door, and this is our hummingbird. So same colors, no matter which ones you do. So if you'd like to mix and match, they go beautifully together. This one is um, the smaller of all three, but it is a hummingbird, and we know lots of you love and collect hummingbird things. Mm -hmm. And I love this as a substitute for a wreath on the door because it does have that narrow profile. Oh, that's a nice idea. So if you're someone that has a screen door or a storm door, yeah. you don't have to worry about it getting well, smushed. And the other thing, too, so often some of our wreaths, you can't even really put them outdoors True. if they're um, faux flowers. Exactly. And then, of course, real wreaths around the holidays, you know, you got to get rid of those in time. This is really nice because this is completely safe to the elements as well, it right? It is. And a lot of people say that birds will often build nests in their wreaths, you know, so yeah. you've got it out in the springtime. You don't have to worry oh, about I that. Oh, I love this look of having all three of them together. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. They really complement each other very well. Boy, they're so colorful in such like a cheerful way. Mm -hmm. And this is a great way to add some color and some fun to those kind of another forgotten space. You know, your fences. Maybe you have um, a fenced in yard and you've got butterfly bushes or roses up against your fences. Mm -hmm. And then like the fences just kind of look plain, whether it is a chain link fence or whether you have a cedar fence, uh, even a picket fence. How beautiful would this be if you have a gate near your um, your yeah. walkway to go to your backyard or even your front yard. I love this. I do love the idea of maybe picking up more than one. Yeah. You know, if you have space, I think Nancy's right. I think the hummingbird and the flower would look fantastic together. Frankly, all three of them hanging beside each other if they have space. If you have mm -hmm. the space, it could be really cool. Yeah, they are. They're really neat because each one is its own distinct sculpture. This is a metal sculpture, but it's hanging on the wall. Yeah. And you have always loved Plown Hearth's metal wall art. So they gave you something that's very bright and cheerful and got great texture. Mm -hmm. As you're looking at the one that's the hummingbird up on the door, yeah, you'll see the wings are so beautifully done. They are also, let's, I'm gonna take it off the wall just so you can see. You can see how they're textured too, as well as dimensional right there. And then it's very easy. I just hang it right up on the hook 
And so it's very easy decorating inside. It's pretty in a bathroom yeah. or in a kitchen, wherever you'd like They're to do They're lovely. It'd be pretty in a girl's room too. Oh, absolutely. And I do like, I, I love the idea of that sunroom, that enclosed mm -hmm. porch. If you're someone like down in Florida where my in-laws live, everybody has that lanai. Oh, that's it's a great place. so pretty, right? I agree. So they're beautiful. I love this idea of inspired by art found in Mexico. That's done in ceramics. This is done inspired by, so it's done in a different material. It's done in a metal that is going to be more lightweight. It's also not going to fade. It will not rust because right. of the coating. It's not right? going to chip or break. Mm -hmm. If you had this in ceramic, you'd have to worry about freeze thaw. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't be able to year, leave it out year round. This one, you absolutely can, no matter what your weather is. You can leave this out year round or bring it in and enjoy it in the winter months if you They're live really somewhere cheerful. really cold there. Really beautiful. My gosh, if you have like a stucco, mm -hmm. any place stucco to put these on, would that be amazing? Looking? Really pretty. It would really stand out. But truly, like, Fence, actually, there's, we're going to see it in a shot right here coming up, just against a wood fence, and it is so pretty. Really gorgeous, vibrant colors, and I love that it's metal because that makes it something that's different and unique, something you can enjoy outside and not have to worry about it. They're lovely, so get one, get two, get three. No matter what you do, I think they are just really beautiful and so unique, a real focal point. Okay, now it's time for Plow and Hearth indoors. So, if you've ever had fruit flies, which basically if you've ever purchased fruit, you've probably 